let's move to boosting our post and to boost your post you simply go to your pages and select the page you want to use and select that post which you want to boost for instance if i want to boost this post now i will click on boost post and the reason you are boosting during your first ad is so that because if you have never boosted a post before sometimes when you want to create business manager account facebook will ask you to verify your business so to avoid that i recommend that you first boost your post and by boosting your your post facebook is now getting used to you it's not it's not like where is this one coming from they are getting used to you okay so it is highly recommended that you boost the first ad that you are going to run you are supposed to boost it okay let me select one of my posts that i can boost that is not a youtube okay now let me see let me try and boost this post and make sure you have read the ad policy so that your write-up and your video should comply with ad policy and to read their ad policy simply go to web.facebook.com slash policies slash ads i will leave the link in the description of this video so this is the link you have to go to the ad policy and this is it here you need to read it carefully like like say you want to go and write jam or wayek read it from beginning to the end read it from beginning take your time to read it because this was what made me to lose my first profile i violated their policy several times and make sure you, you go through it okay once you have gone through their ad policy and you have understood it then we go to boosting our post to boost your post like i want to boost this one i click on boost and here you can select some things like change goal if i change goal here you want to get more messages want to get more video views get more leads get more calls let's leave it as automatic for now then edit button let me use um, learn more and by learning more i am driving them to my website okay let's assume you don't have a website then you can use a send message and use a um, messenger which is okay let's use send message and use a send messenger because if your business is not verified you cannot use a whatsapp cannot use whatsapp for beginner the age you can edit the age let's take it to 25 and above and let's leave it for all including men and women and 
the location you can see Nigeria is selected which is okay and here you can select detailed targeting those people who are interested in the kind of product that you sell this one is a face the boost is all about Facebook advertisement so let me remove this I will select those interested in e-commerce those interested in e-commerce okay then I can also select those interested in digital marketing digital digital marketing digital marketing let me continue typing it until I see it okay this is digital marketing I'll select it okay now I've selected my interest then the next thing is your audience you can see estimated audience size is 5.1 million to 6 million if you like you can save the audience let me save the audience okay then now we go to adding money total budget ad may stop running soon as this budget exceed your account spending limit okay update accounts spending limit okay i can modify this let's say i want to spend two thousand naira and that is that the the placement the ad will show on facebook instagram and messenger which is okay no pixel don't worry about pixel for now then here we are going to add our payment method this is very very important at this point you click on add payment method now i advise you not to use this debit or credit card instead use pay you select this the reason is that if you use this first one that is postpaid it means that you add your atm card your ad can still can be running at some point facebook will start taking their money at their own discretion they take their money anytime they want to take for instance maybe when you have spent like 600 naira they will take their money or when you have spent up to 1500 they take their money now the disadvantage with this is that of recent the bank started misbehaving so the disadvantage of using debit or credit card method is that one it may lead to your account being disabled because when Facebook want to take their money and your payment is not going through I have had that kind of challenge before Facebook will think try to take their money and the payment was not going through and if they try it several times maybe up to up to four times or five times and they cannot take their money the next thing they will do is to disable your other accounts so to avoid that i recommend that you use pay you because this one is you are adding money the moment the money you add has finished your ad will stop is the safest way and secondly 
of recent bank started misbehaving i don't know how that happened and i don't have the time to find out sometime i run ad and spend like ten thousand naira. he said the money that should have been deducted from my account should have been ten thousand naira. but i see that the money deducted is eleven thousand naira. it has happened several times and because of that i had to abandon that ad account and started using another ad account so to be on the server side i recommend that you use pay you and since i started using pay you i have never had such problem again my account has been healthy because anytime facebook is having difficulty in taking their money your, your the integrity of your account will be affected so use pay you and to use pay you you select this box and the good the dangerous part of it is that whatever you have used now is what you are going to use forever at the beginning of your account if by any mistake i select debit card i can never go back to using pay you again so what you are going to select at the beginning of this account is what you are going to be using forever in this account once you have selected no going back okay so i will select pay you and add fund so if you select pay you, you see that what you are adding is fund but when you select debit or card what you'll be adding is card can you see the two difference okay so i hit continue okay when i hit continue this is where i am going to be adding my my card details here you can pay it with your any of your nigeria atm card can pay with any of your Nigeria ATM card and I'm sure you know all this you type your card number here type your card name type the the month on your card and the year then when you hit continue to show you where you are going to type your CVV CVV is at the back of your ATM card. Okay, so once you are done and your payment is successful, you are set to run ad. Okay. And once you have had your payment, your ad will go through approval and after a few minutes or few hours you will receive a message that your ad has been approved and it will start delivering okay that is the much we can do in this video we are going to proceed later thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye